So guys, it's Barry Boo, and I picked up a blue taco. You found the Ocarina of Time? Oh, I thought I was a blue taco. This treasure glows with mystical light. Actually, it kind of looked like it wasn't glowing at all, but you know, I'll take your word for it, video game, because you know, you just, I can't just think you do everything, I use my imagination. Barry, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. Barry Boo, when you hold this Ocarina in your hand, I'm gonna hold it in both of my hands. It won't be around. I won't be around anymore. <laughs> what is this place? I've never been here in this playthrough. I wanted you. I wanted to wait for you, but I can't. I'm so sorry about my reading. At least I could leave you this ocarina and this melody. That's actually the. This song opens the door of time. And it does even more in the other game. But, you know, can you say which one's more important? Because, like, the other one keeps the time in check, and this one... Well, actually... This one's probably least less important, because... You know... You gotta... You gotta... You could glitch through the door. You've learned the song of time. Yeah, not the sun song, idiot. Okay, now you can know somewhere in this, in this gray... Link is going. Duh! I, I, duh! Now, Barry Boo, place Melody in front of the altar in the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. I shall, Zelda. But what are we gonna do in there? Like, how do we get back on land? For one thing, what are we gonna do in the Temple of Time? Like. We're just gonna play the melody, and then the door's gonna open, and then we get to get the Triforce? I have no idea. Um, if you use, like, freaky codes in this area, you can tell that this is all just a painting that they plastered over models. This this whole town. It's pretty, actually, awesome technology for the time. And Halo Girl with Chicken. Wish I could see your model up close, but I can't. And we look foggy as hell. Man. This emulator stuff. Shouldn't be getting into it, kids. Don't get into emulators. It's illegal unless you have the game. In which case, it isn't illegal. Which, in which case, I do have it. What is this place? Oh, obviously. Um. Well. Let's go. One second. <clears throat> okay, anyway. Alright. What does it say? I actually don't care. Let's just play Song of Time. Blue taco, blue taco, playing my blue taco and the Song of Time. Oh man, it is hot in this room. <laughs> Oh, and Link just vomits three spiritual stones out of the top of his head. That, I don't know, that's like Nauta on Fulikuli. Just when she pulls that guitar out of his head. You know that scene? That scene right there? Yeah. Except Navi pulled spiritual stones out of my head. Oh, man. And the gates of time open! And there was actually a glitch to get through these doors before opening it, but I have tried doing it before in my life about three times. Absolutely impossible. I don't know who came up with it. It's absolutely impossible. They're liars. Anyway, Barry Boo, isn't that... Go see what it is, Navi. What is that thing? It's that legendary blade. Where did you hear about that, Navi? The Master Sword! Cool. Watch if we go back. Look how the room de-renders. Like, you can actually see that... No, that is not what that room looks like. Look how small it is. Look how it has no ceiling. Like, how do they think they could get away with this? Anyway, you go in the room, plop! Whole thing's huge. Anyway. Oh, cool. I wonder what's gonna happen when we pull it out. I guess we'll use a giant sword as a little child. 
For some reason, I just feel like equipping this shield right now. I have no idea why. Okay, here we go. That's a little crooked. Oh, little Link. You're funny. What the hell? <laughs> Excellent work. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. You didn't think that. You'd have killed me right there. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. He's got red pupils. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. You're so evil, Ganon! You're so evil! Dang! How do you get so evil? <coughs> Berry Boo! Wake up! Berry Boo, the chosen one! Oh man, what is all this? Thought we had killed Ganon by opening up those doors. I guess we didn't. Man, I'm looking everywhere, like conveniently. My sight is just a square, and I'm looking everywhere except exactly where the guy is. <gasps> what? Oh man, look at that face. I am Rauru. Or Rauru. I guess it's Rauru. One of the ancient sages. Ages? Ha! Ago. We ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the sacred realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you just pulled, that you pulled, he didn't just pull, it's been seven years, out of the pedestal, the S of Time, was the final key to the sacred realm. Mary Boo, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Ugh. Here we go. Whoa! I got man arms. Navi, what are you trying? Are you looking under my, my dress? Navi, you little pervert. Look, Barry Boo. You're big now. You've grown up. Oh, wait. That was Navi saying that. Oops. The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only the one worthy of the little hero of... T the little... The little... Seriously? The title Hero of Time. You can pull it from the petals of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. That is age discriminatory. Therefore, your spirit was sealed for seven years. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the Hero of Time. If I've been sealed here... Yeah, I understand. If I've been sealed here for seven years, my spirit... Does that mean my body was just like laying at the altar of time? And if so, how did it get any nourishment? Anyway. He obtained the Triforce, uh, the temple from the Temple of Light, and with its power he became the King of Evil. His evil power radiates from the temples of Hyrule in seven short years. And those are really, that's long. It transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in this sacred realm. Namely, this chamber of sages. Man, I still taste those gross, those gross, uh, coffee grinds from the last episode. Yeah, okay, we get it. Please stop talking. When power of all sages is awakened, the sages' seals will contain all of the power, the evil power, in the void of the realm. I, Raru, am one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time, chosen by the master sword. Keep my spirit with you, and find the power of the other sages, and add their might to your own. Where are your hands, brah? Ugh, get, get some shorter sleeves. Whoa! Yeah! Got this one without even having to go through a temple. That was really easy. You received the light medallion. Raru, the sage, adds his power to yours. Find the other sages, and save Hyrule. Why is that crooked? 
Should be in the middle of the screen, I think. Whoa! And it never does this again, no matter how many times you go through this time. Which is probably a good thing, because that would take forever. Oh, my leg! Okay. Peribu, we're back in the Temple of Time. But have seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. Yeah, why can't I use this weapon? Just because I have... You know, I could still use the boomerang. Like, even if it's too small, I could just throw it with, like, two fingers. I don't care. He, Link just feels stupid using kid toys now. The grown-up Link in that, in that other game, this game, uses a slingshot. I've been waiting for you, hero of time. I mean, she's probably trying to sound like a boy. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will cause those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. Guys, this is, this is taking forever. One in the deep forest. One on a high mountain. One under a vast lake. One within the house of the dead. One inside a goddess of the sand. In a goddess of the sand. Well, it's the same thing. Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bind evil and return light to the peace of... Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people. The Sheikah. I am Sheik. Yeah, that's just creative. Survivor of the Sheikahs. As I see you standing there holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for you. You know, in that temple. She didn't say you. The sage is a girl. I'm sure you know. Because of the power, the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakened call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. I got bombs and a sword that could use the infinite sword glitch, so I actually could, but okay. You should head to Kakaruka Village. Do you understand, Mary Boo? Yeah. I do. You ain't gotta give me its snarky attitude. I'm gonna back up like a boss. One second. Like a boss. Like, well, Sheik. If you're so awesome, then I'm just gonna stare at you the whole way. Yep. You just get the evil eye from Barry Boo the adult. Whoa. Look at that. That evil is reaches so far, it goes a little bit through the Temple of Time right here. That is what she calls some serious evil. Why couldn't I just go through the mountains right there? Like, like seriously? I could just go straight through the mountains into Kakariko Village. Okay, so you see Kakariko Village behind, I mean, Death Mountain behind, behind, um, the Temple of Time. Then you come out here, and it's a little bit to the right, so I don't know if that exactly was logical, but I guess if the Temple of Time is situated in such a way with the camera angle at such a way, you could say, theoretically, that you could see the... Okay, and why isn't it evil right here? Like, why didn't they change it right here? I mean, I love the game, but come on, guys, that was a little lazy. I'm not trying to be a hater, but that was a little lazy. Okay, one second, guys. All right. Anyway, let's go in here. Ew! The tree got big and fat and bloated, and I'm just a serial killer in the streets. For some reason, they moved that box. Why would they do that? That's that box, man. Hey, old guy. You know what I kind of wonder? You know that little girl that was running around and chasing that chicken? Where is she? Like, she should be an adult. Well, not an adult, but she should be close to an adult like Link is. Uh, where is she? Did she, um, did she die? Because that's grim. You know, especially for the little girl. Okay, I, I see that I have failed to explain at all what we're doing right now. 
We're gonna get the hook shot. Because that's the only way to get into the forest temple. And we gotta race this butt face right here. I hate this race. I may not look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you dare. And I still I haven't learned this race. Like, I, I don't know what to do if I don't follow the fire. Like, I won't know which way he's going. And I always end up running into the freaking fire. Like, I just did. Anyway, you know, despite this this terrible race that I hate with a passion. Um... It, uh, I really do love Dampy. Like when we were kids, we always loved Dampy. Like he was like he was like the old guy you used to go hang out with. That no kids probably ever went and hang out with an old guy, but you know, he was the friendly old guy that everyone loved. And we actually did too. But I'll be darned if I don't hate this race with a passion. Okay, Dampy, just just stay still. Just just chill out. What is your problem, man? Whoa! Okay, you just you just trying to get me killed. Why are you trying to burn me up, man? Like I'm your friend. I mean, I know I never talked to you when I was a kid. Like, I I, I never did any you know that mini game or anything, but you still you know you could be my friend. Whoa, guys! Did I say I hated that race? Cause that was easy. The time of the race was one minute nine seconds. <laughs> Young man, you were very quick to be able to keep up with me. <laughs> As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the hook shot. Its spring-loaded chain will pull you to any spot where its hook sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it will help you. I live here now, so come back sometime. I'll give you something cool. One more thing. Be careful on your way back. <laughs> um, Dampy, I'm not going to come back because the next thing you're going to give me is a piece of heart. And I don't want a piece of heart. You know what's mean? Also, he died and his body didn't get... His soul isn't a young man. So he can't get any hot young girl ghost chicks. Sorry, I call the girls chicks. I usually don't do that. Anyway, what's in here? It's not a hookshot. It may have sounded like it, but it ain't the hookshot. Duh, I'm trying to leave a cliffhanger for the next episode. Okay, thank you for joining me. Next episode, we'll see you there. Later!